Hello and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download DinoJet PowerCore software and map files for a Power Commander 6. This will work on older Power Commanders and pretty much all of the DinoJet Power Commander family of products, but we're going to be sticking with Power Commander 6 for this example. To get started, you need to be on our website and you need to be signed in on our website. Up here in the upper right hand corner, it should say my account and not just sign in. If it says sign in, you need to click up there and get signed in or create a new account if necessary. Once you're signed in, to get the software installer, go to the support menu at the top and select the downloads option. And the latest available DinoJet PowerCore software installer is going to be accessible from this big red button here at the top. Click that, and you will begin downloading the setup file. After the setup file has downloaded, you can open it up. Need to accept the license agreements. And I recommend using all of the default installation settings. Now that the software is installed, we will also need to get map files or tune files off the website. We can get those by clicking tunes here at the top. We'll use the drop down menus to select the vehicle model that we're searching for. In this example, I'll use uh, Power Commander 6 for a new 2021 Suzuki GSX-R1000. See, we have two Power Commander 6 map files available for that bike, one for a stock exhaust, one for a slip-on exhaust. I can download both of these files by clicking these links. I'm not going to open those files yet. I'm going to leave them in my downloads folder for now. Now I'm ready to launch the PowerCore software. I can launch that from my start menu or double click the new desktop icon. PowerCore launches, it begins with this small window here called the Application Launcher. And within the Application Launcher, you can see the four sub-programs of PowerCore. When working with Power Commanders, we will exclusively be using the C3 tuning application here on the left. C3, to open the map file, we're going to click the Open button in the upper left corner. We're going to look in our Downloads folder where our maps went. The first map was for stock exhaust, the second map was for slip-on exhaust. If I open up one of these two, I can see the file name that was opened appear here in the Documents pane, and I can have more than one file opened at a time. The file that's selected from the Documents pane will be the file that is being worked with down here in the Explorer pane. From the Explorer pane, you can see the tables within the map file. You can see the notes where it says slip-on exhaust. You can see the target air fuel ratio values for auto tuning. And you can see the primary fuel adjustment table where the user can add and subtract fuel. What you can't see is the base fuel table for that slip on exhaust system that's in the background. To send this map into a USB connected Power Commander 6, you would just need to click the send button up here at the top. And after it has been sent into a Power Commander 6 successfully, you should be able to read a confirmation message down here at the bottom of the window in the status bar. And at that point, you can disconnect your USB cable and go ride your vehicle. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. 